has three distinguishing characters, very special. The first is a lean bread, no butter, no oil, no sugar, quite a healthy bread. Second, bagel dough is a two-step dough, mainly separate dry ingredients into two equal batches and then combine later. This time-taking fermentation process brings the natural flavor of wheat very delicious. And third, bagel requires boiling and then baking. This special method does bring the true beauty of a bagel, crust outside and chewy inside. I really like this little bread originated from Poland and becomes spectacular around the world. Let's get started together. This recipe makes six bagels, each weighing 90 grams. Ingredients Starter sponge 180 grams of bread flour About 1 and a quarter cups 1.6 grams of instant yeast About half a teaspoon 200 grams of warm water In body temperature About 4 fifths of a cup Mando 180 grams of bread flour About 1 and a quarter cups 1.6 grams of instant yeast about half a teaspoon, 12 grams of honey, about two teaspoons, six grams of sea salt, about one teaspoon, boiling water, 1,000 grams of water, about four cups, 18 grams of honey, about one tablespoon, five grams of baking soda, about one teaspoon, topping, 30 grams of egg white, from one organic large egg, 30 grams of sesame seeds, about two to three tablespoons, or any choice of your preferred toppings, such as black sesame seeds, sea salt, granulated garlic, dry basil flakes, and etc. Making process, stage one, starter sponge. Mix the yeast and water. Give it a good stirring. Add bread flour. Mix them all together. Have it covered and set aside. This starter sponge can be put in the room temperature for one to several hours or in the fridge for overnight to 24 hours. Here I have a bowl of one hour fermentation and a bowl of overnight 15-hour fermentation for comparison. Stage 2. Mando. Add the yeast, honey, salt, and flour into the starter sponge. Mix them all together with a spatula and your hands. The key point is Keep mixing. Don't add any water if you think the dough is too dry in the beginning. Don't add any flour if you think the dough is too wet either. Knead the dough in the bowl and in the working surface. I knead the dough for 8 to 10 minutes without adding any flour or liquid. Just keep kneading. All the ingredients will be incorporated nicely. No cooking spray needed. Put it back to the bowl. Have it covered and set aside. Let the dough proof again for one hour to overnight. The longer time, the slower fermentation it goes through. The dough has more sophisticated and better flavor. When the dough size is doubled, use a scraper to deflate the dough. This dough does take time, but worth it. Now it's ready to shape the bagels. Stage 3. Dividing and shaping. Divide the dough into the portion you want. 
I've seen 70 grams each to 140 grams each. Depends on your preference. Shape them into nice balls. Here I have two ways to shape a bagel. The first is the classic one. Roll the dough into a rope. Press one end and make it flat. Wrap it around your hand. Overlap two ends about 5 cm, 2 inches, and roll them together. The second way is simpler. Just punch a hole in the middle. Use your two fingers. Circle around to make the hole bigger. Cover with a clean kitchen towel. Let the bagels rest for 15 minutes. And we are going to bowl the bagels. Stage 4. Bowling. Boil a pot of water. Add honey. And carefully add the baking soda. Gently put the bagel into the pot. When the bagel is floating, it's a very good indicator of a tasty bagel made. Bowling time is also different from a couple of seconds to minutes. The longer it bowling, the chewier bagel we have. My preference is not too chewy. The bowling time I set is 30 seconds for each side, one minute in total. Then let it dry in a clean kitchen towel. It's ready for next step. Stage 5, Topping. Put bagels in a baking pan. Stir and loose up the egg white. Brush on the top of bagels. Then add your favorite toppings. Here I am adding some sesame seeds and salt. They are now ready to be baked. Stage 6 Baking Preheat oven to 200 degrees Celsius about 400 degrees Fahrenheit Baking for 20 minutes Stage 7 Cooling Let bagels cool down Add some chocolate touch Serving and enjoying.
simply are my favorite cream cheese. Or sometimes with some homemade pesto spray and some fresh tomato slices. So yum. I hope you enjoyed this video. Try the recipe and let me know how would you like to have your bagels. And please always remember that life is beautiful. You are cherished and blessed. Thank you for your watching and considering to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.